98 KUPD, uh, Norm McDonald's, one of my favorite people on the planet. He doesn't even know that. You don't even know that. I know, I know. Oh, do you? Yeah, man. (laughs) One of my favorite people come in here every time. It's been like two years. You kind of took a year away from it. I think so, yeah. Holy crow, Yeah, yeah. uh, You've been uh, busy doing eating, evidently. (laughs) <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> and not now. You've cleared it up. You had to eat and then lose the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you took a year off yeah, from some us. some weird thing happened where I had a huge hunger, and uh, Sean was around. Uh, you yeah. haven't introduced Sean. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sean, Sean o- O'Connor. O'Connor. Uh, your young, helper. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. The, he's the future of comedy. Oh, is he the future? Oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. isn't like a Liberace situation oh, where you got a yeah. helper? Oh, <laughs> I mean, he did say he would pay for my plastic <laughs> surgery. <laughs> We're going to make you look like Norm. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah. Listen, Sean's got a house. Yeah. Can I, a little, can I read a little uh, news story? You, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, of a course. Brazilian serial killer has confessed to murdering 39 people. The alleged serial killer, um, apparently he co- was coerced into confessing his crime. Um, and w- what he did was, um, geez, this is kind of grisly now that I read it. <laughs> he would uh, lure uh, young women and men. He would kill regardless of gender. Uh slice uh chop up the victims yeah. and then uh, i mean this guy was a real jerk <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you're one of my favorite people it, it's so succinct it's such a so you, yes you, i had a big i had a hunger issue what yeah. i would call it so, what did you put on because when i turned i was watching your podcast i think i, think I was, it was about 250 was it? No kidding? Uh, maybe. I remember I, one time I was 235, but I, I remember being fatter after that. But, yeah, <laughs> I would eat uh, all the time. Like and then, well, and just you. for no reason. Because he, all of a sudden the appetite just started. Yeah, um, you just yeah. Home, constantly Out of nowhere. Home. And then I got real worried. Like, And I, I said to him, I went to a doctor, and then it was, all the tests came out positive. <laughs> and I'm like... Uh, I mean, you know, he's, he's, I don't know if I tell you about this doctor, but he wasn't the nicest guy, you know. Like, at one point he said, uh, open your mouth and say oink. <laughs> 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 That's not nice, right? No, no. no. <laughs> So uh, earlier this morning, uh, you say the people on Cool were doing mounds of blow at the station. What the hell is that? About? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know we could talk about sure that. Sure, we can. You're, oh, you're in a safe so place. You, did you cut some lines? Yeah, we cut, cut lines off of Erica. No, no, they just kept giving us donuts. They, had, so they were like going they away had for a while. Incredible energy, man. They were like. <laughs> It was. It it's was the oldest station. They have to have energy, I guess. I, I guess. Sure. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it was. It was a lot of fun, though. <laughs> I don't buy it. But listen, man, Sean, you know. The future of comedy. The future of comedy. Uh, it reminded me last night because I got in early uh, yesterday and then I waited up on Sean because he drove from Los Angeles. Oh, jeez. Because he's afraid of Ebola. <laughs> and it sort real? of reminded me, like, because I would phone him, uh, you know, on his car and I go, How you doing? He goes, Now I'm in, you know. Uh, wherever he Court was, yeah. yeah, and it reminded me of, shake. of yeah. like yeah. a yeah. He had a date shake. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I ate at McDonald's twice you ever <laughs> on the drive. <laughs> yeah. ever, that's a long drive. You ever have a date shake? <laughs> no. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah, but it reminded me of kind of like a Stephen King novel. I'm on the phone. Right. He's like, you know, I haven't touched anyone yet. You know, and like yeah, uh, right. he's so afraid of Ebola, but. Yeah. Are you really afraid of the Ebola? Because uh-huh. I think I'm, I'm horrified. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. terrified because what just happened is it was one person, then it was yeah. two people, then it was three people, and then that second person went on a plane. Yeah. So now 800 people yeah. are quarantined. Well, and there's, there's another one on a she, boat now, the, on the a cruise line. The one on the plane doesn't have it yet. Yeah, but close enough. It's so We've close. Had, we've yes. had two people that have yeah. had it. And the other one that oh, was yeah. handling... But the other one are being accused. Yeah. But right now, we're taking the witches right now, and we're going to start burning them. Be yeah. good. Yeah, well, Who's for burning? Show of hands. If it's <laughs> I mean, two. if it saves me... <laughs> me too. That's well, how I feel. I'm going to tell you Diarying so. blood. Right. Yes. <laughs> Fidel, Burn that guy. Fidel Castro, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Who, who has an island. His country is an island, right? Right. So when the AIDS outbreak happened, it, it, you know, you're on an island. It could knock your whole island down. Right, yeah. So what he did is they had a big, beautiful resort, right? Uh-huh. And he just took it over, you know, because that's what they can do. In <laughs> right, Cuba. when it's your island. Yeah, and uh, he put all the AIDS patients in this beautiful resort, fed them all, and... Uh, 
What's wrong with that? Yeah, I don't know. They, they <laughs> it almost really makes you want AIDS in <laughs> Cuba, doesn't it? Kind of like trying to get it. <laughs> but it knocked the uh, disease out. It killed the disease. Yeah, because you quarantine everybody into their own little package. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. So the lady who they keep saying was handling samples, which basically means the poop and pee of the yeah. Duncan guy, she was taking is on out. a Royal Caribbean cruise and she's got it locked in a cabin now. I'm, yeah. I'm the same way because I think... But also, a doc, like a nurse, if a nurse can get it, I mean, yes. cause they... Take care. They try yeah. not right, to get right. stuff so, every day. That's their job. So if it's not airborne, Sean yeah. was saying it's just dro- a droplet. Yeah, yeah. Like well, if, wait till terrorists get it. I yeah. mean, of course. If you take in someone's breath that has yeah. Ebola, you know, uh, you. it's like a horrible it's be movie. Awful. Yeah, I, I had to stop drinking people's blood. <laughs> oh, <that'll do> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful with yeah. that. <laughs> Stupid Twilight movies, and now we've got this <laughs> yeah. taking a horrible turn on all of us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, would, it would be the worst when terrorists get it, but I also think it would be bad when just, like, innocent people get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you got something. I think you misunderstood me, but it, it's okay. <laughs> who did you usurp as uh, the future of comedy? Uh, I there think has to be, like, the guy who had that role that you took yeah, it from. Yeah, who got uh, rolled? Probably is and sorry. You think? And uh, now he's just comedy. Yeah, yeah, now he's, he's the president, he's the president, president of comedy. Of comedy. He's the czar. <laughs> and, yeah. and Norm, are you the, 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 the ghost past. of comedy past? <laughs> yeah. A lot of times me and Sean, we'll, we'll go and then people will go, hey, man, that guy seems like the future of comedy. That guy seems like the past of comedy. Where, where do we <laughs> go to get that the, to you? <laughs> where do we go to get the president? <laughs> <laughs> the people will review your show yeah. that way. That's yeah. just an yeah, awful yeah. person to say that about <laughs> the show he just watched. I saw the future and I saw the past. Yeah. Just looking for something in the middle. There. Yeah. Well, so, listen, man. Uh, uh, the future and the past are all we got because the present is, uh, you know, people falling down, uh, bleeding from every orifice of the body. <laughs> yeah, that is, I don't like the present. It's did, better read, look at that. did you guys ever read The Hot Zone? Yeah, we were talking yeah. about that. I never God, read that it. But, a terrifying yeah. It's the one that makes me go okay ebola i'm not going to fool around with this one we yeah. had a record of zero cases yeah up and until about a month and a half they ago. could have had a vaccine it was 20 years ago oh that's right yeah, they yeah. could have worked on a vaccine but they didn't what was no. the thing that you told me about the hot zone that sounded like a lie oh the what the horror horrifying story oh oh that you think it's a lie yeah, <laughs> yeah. no in the hot zone they're talking about the first guy that got it and you know it's just a nightmare and he gets to the you know it's on a little plane from africa and he gets to the um, hospital and he goes there you know, and it's an African hospital. <laughs> Which Not to say anything against Africa, but by God. And then, uh, Look at these hospitals. And then he goes there, and, and they don't know Ebola. Sure. So he's like, uh, And they said at that point, anyways, uh, he collapsed and blood exploded from everywhere. Oh. And they said that the blood hit the ground and started moving. What? Because it's it's, it's like, a so like a sci-fi movie. Like a sci-fi movie because it's more Ebola than plasma at that point. Oh, and it's just looking for a host. It's mobile. It's gonna die. Ah, I'm out. I'm yeah. out on that. Yeah. yeah, start the fire. It's like alien. Yeah, no, that's just an awful. So place. burn all the Ebola. That's what yeah. you're saying. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. Are you opposed? Are you opposed? To Give me a counter argument to it. You, you take that resort, Norm, and then you torch it. Look, That's John's I have, idea. I have an odd uh, approach to curing starvation as yeah. well, which is kill all the starving people. Yeah, it goes away if we team up with the warlords. I mean, yeah. we've raised so much they money, the and they're anyway. still hungry. There's We've a, teamed up with the wrong side. Oh, yeah. Don't you think? Do you have to go already? No, Brad's oh, okay. just pointing at my coffee. Brad, I don't like when you stand up. Sit back down. Doesn't he look like he's from a Wallace and Gromit special? <laughs> <laughs> the were-rabbit. Kind of right behind him. Norm, you've been at this for a long time now. Ah. How long have you been doing this? Uh, 25 years. Is it 25 years? No, yeah. And it's your birthday today. And I started late. 51 years oh, old, Happy birthday, Norm. by the way. Every happy birthday. birthday. Oh, yes, it is my birthday. We yeah. get lists. I actually started very late for a stand-up. Yeah. 25, what were you doing before Most that? of them started as kids, you know. Yeah. Sean started, started at 19, yeah. 19, no kidding. Yeah. That's some, just brave. And even 19 is sort of, some people are 16. So you stopped yeah. hooking and you yeah, went yeah. into comedy What were you doing 19? before? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Were you a prostitute? <laughs> I, that's where you pointed out? I want stuff to come out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your choice. Oh, <laughs> that's just an extra 20 bucks. You can go Quitter. in the direction. Yeah. <laughs> Norm, were you, did, did you have different aspirations before you started doing Oh, uh, no, I just did manual labor. Really? Like yeah. tile work or drywall? What are you looking at? Uh, drywall was too hard for me. Anything <laughs> with any skill, I was horrible at. But what was but manual? I, I moved furniture, oh. you know, I worked in a logging camp. I, just, I lived in Canada, I just travel around to... Yeah. Uh, 
and then just all of a sudden said, "This is it." What would what would Norm today is your birthday, so it's yeah, a time for reflection. Yeah, it's true, it is my what birthday. What would birthday Norm today go back and tell young Norm twenty five years ago? Uh, what would I go back and tell? Yeah, would you myself? would you go back and say, "All right, Norm, here's what you need to know." Oh, I watch would, out for Ebola! First of all, that's clear. Yeah, that's no, coming. Uh, yeah, that's coming. <laughs> that's coming. You got a future ahead. Yeah, of you. I guess I. Would, gosh, man. I, I mean, I have no regrets in my life. I'm not asking. I'm not, you're not a deathbed or anything. I'm not, no regrets. <laughs> I'm not trying to pin anything on you. Just is there anything you're like, man, I could have done that better? Oh, almost everything. <laughs> so you just have a list of stuff for yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, I would say, uh, I would say, you know how they say a life unexamined is not worth living? True. But... Uh, Another a bad thing, though, is do you ever try to examine your life, <laughs> which is what you're asking me to do right now? And yeah. you hate it. Yeah, I apologize. Oh, it's Norm- depressing. <laughs> so I'm so up- you look back, you're, why did I do that? 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 <laughs> what are these bumps? If you keep dwelling what on them, though, that's a bumps? I've got bumps. Why do I, why, why, why not remember the last six days and there's scabs all over my face? <laughs> yeah. No, when I used to drink, I used to walk, this is what my friends told me, I would walk, fall down, walk, fall down, walk, <laughs> fall down, and then I would black out for a couple of days and I'd wake up and there'd always be scabs. In my face. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I your saw, friends told I you. Thought I'd be in a bi- I'd been in a big fight, but my friends right. told me, now you're just walking down <laughs> they the They were street. just kicking your ass. You were in a fight <laughs> club and they did beat yeah, the yeah, and yeah, put yeah. you yeah. in Norm, have you ever met any other celebrity that shares the same birthday as you? Like, um... Ziggy Marley. Yeah. Ziggy Marley. No, you he shares my birthday? Yeah, Eminem. Oh, Eminem. Uh, yes, I have met him. Bill Hudson, one of the Hudson brothers. The Hudson brothers. brothers. Yeah. Now, was he uh, uh, Goldie Hawn's uh, uh, husband? Oh, he you? put his seat Kate inside Hudson? Goldie Hawn. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. made Kate. Kate Hudson. Yep, yeah. he made Kate. The George, Hudson brothers. George Went. Oh, yeah. oh really? Norm. And he played yeah. Norm. Uh, how odd is that? No, you, know, it's, really. uh, okay. I, you know how dumb I am? When I started doing stand-up, right? I was in Canada. There was no TV or anything, right? There wasn't? Uh, not in Canada. <laughs> really? Not I mean, there was TV. 25 but I, years ago? I, I, I mean, you couldn't go do stand-up on I TV. I see. I got We'd you. We'd mostly get our sta- uh, right. TV from America. But I was going across the country and everything doing my stand-up, but no one knew who I was. But when I sometimes when I'd go on, people would go, Norm, Norm. And... But, I thought I was catching on, but it was from the TV show. From the Cheers. Yeah, so they heard Norm. They go, Norm, Norm. Like an idiot, I go, yeah, man. And people are starting to say, cool. So you can go back and tell young Norm that that, that wasn't what you get excited that, about. Yeah. <laughs> you settle yeah. down on the Norm chance. <laughs> but they say Norm. They're yeah. talking about George yeah. Wentz's character on Cheers. Clearly, the wildly popular Norm is the fat guy yeah, over here. Yeah, exactly. Here's, you know, a, here's another cool one you share your book. Yeah. Uh, Evil Knievel. Oh, oh I love Evil Did you ever Knievel. Meet Evil Knievel. No, oh, boy, man. I would like to. My buddy is. Uh, the, He's dead, right? Yeah, two thousand seven. My buddies, they wrote Ed Wood and uh, yeah. People vs. Larry Flint. They write biopics and they're writing one on Evil oh. Knievel. And they told me some awesome stories. And the best one was. Well, one cool thing was where whenever he did a stunt, he would get his whole family together and talk to them like... This could be it. This could be it, yeah, right. which was pretty cool. And they have video of that. And then, uh, so he was so rich because he always thought he was just about to die. <laughs> but he'd always have, you know, a, a walking cane that was all diamonds and stuff. <laughs> but he bought a, a jet with, uh, on the side of the jet was Evil Knievel, like jumping in a motorcycle, right? And he was like, this is going to be exciting. So then he takes the jet... And he's like, I can't see it, you know, because, of course, he can't see <laughs> right. the side of the jet. He's inside the plane. So he buys another jet. To fly next to that to jet. To fly next to that <laughs> That is, so that's, that's, that's a, a life money. well led. Right? I, yeah. That's how you do it. When you can buy a jet to look at your own jet, <laughs> yeah. that's winning right that there. That guy's awesome. better than me. I play tennis with this guy that yeah. was a super cross rider or, or a Grand Prix, and Evil Knievel was his sponsor in 1974. Yeah, he threw his bike. money all over because I don't think, th- I think he yeah, And he talked about a couple of parties on the oh. yacht. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said Evil was one of those guys that um, never backed down. Like if a guy challenged yeah, yeah. him, he's like, all right, yeah. let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I remember there was a, a, a story like he that he somebody uh, like in the press or something bad mouthed him or something like that. And he just walked into the place with a baseball bat. <laughs> and took him out. Yeah, and he's like, I know, <laughs> See, I, I know this is going to cost me a lot of money, but I don't care. Yeah. And yeah. it costs him like 10 Sean, million, see, you, you know? can't do that as the future of comedy. Oh, no. You can't just go in and bash somebody who doesn't like it. Or you could bring it back. Or yeah. maybe yeah, as the fu- you're the future. Anything oh. you do is, is going to 
That would be wonderful to get, yeah. like, you know, masculine energy. <laughs> you have once. none of that? I have zero of that so far. Do you maybe f- harness up some WNBA energy or uh, some I female mean, energy? Perhaps? I mean, I have played basketball with women before, so <laughs> I think this would work out. <laughs> he gets a lot of tail, this guy. That's Is that right? It's unbelievable. Yeah? I mean, it's not unbelievable. I, He's uh, a handsome, nice no, guy. No, I'm right. engaged. <laughs> that's what you mean. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> He's getting tail from that same lady over and yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Engage, you're getting a lot of. I guess that doesn't count. I guess that doesn't count. He's always like, "Hey, I got a story about last night." I'm like, "Easy." <laughs> sure. I yeah, yeah, I know. Her. Yeah, no. she's a sweet girl, Aaron. I was with Don't this chick last night. Oh, like, and then, man. I, so then she, I'm like, because oh. then you got to meet that person. You look at I'm him like, oh, she was just folded over like a Samsonite. <laughs> Yeah, you're packing her up in the I overhead compartment. <laughs> Fold it over like a Samson yeah. eye. You don't want to see no, the let's people. let's not say that about Aaron. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Aaron is the sweetest, you know, girl. You but evidently puts you out couldn't quite imagine, a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, you couldn't even imagine her. She's so saintly. Yeah, you get her on any night. She's... <laughs> Hello? She's an Norm's animal. getting a call. Hello? Eddie answered it. <laughs> is it, it must burnt? be important. Let's listen. Uh-oh. This is it. Oh, is this Leslie? <laughs> Leslie Moonves? We've oh, all got yeah. a show. He's <laughs> loving the radio. Uh, uh, I'm doing a radio. <laughs> well, Norm's on the phone. I can tell you, Norm and Sean are over at the Tempe Improv. Okay. TempeImprov.com. I'm, I'm doing a radio interview. <laughs> I'm doing a radio interview. i got to go. TempeImprov.com, Friday and Saturday. I'm uh, doing a radio interview. <laughs> i got to go. Get off the Who phone, is Leslie. It? Is Leslie a girl? Do you know oh, Leslie, Sean? I don't know that? Leslie. What was that? Who's that? Oh, that's my brother, Leslie. You know, J.B. Smoove's brother called once while he was on the air. Yeah. And he picked it up, and he needed... <laughs> 300 <laughs> it was bucks. 300 pounds of chicken for a picnic. And I'm like, you can't... That's just... I mean, you're just baiting me for like 3,000... And he was short. He before. was short on some yeah, cash. He, he's like, he needed 250 bucks to cover the chicken. No, I didn't bill. want to take the call, but I saw it was from my hometown. Could I'm be like, trouble. Oh, my Is he gosh. wishing you a happy birthday, yeah. maybe? Oh, that's, that's what, what that's it was. What I'm <laughs> yelling at him. <laughs> well, he's trying to be nice. You're right. That is what it was. <laughs> yeah, he's on the. He's the that prick. See if I ever. You know seen what I mean? Part. When you get a phone call, sure. You know what I find? I don't know if you guys are like this. Like, do you have landlines? Not anymore. Well, I, have, do. I, I do. I don't. You have had. Them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But like in the middle of the night when the phone rings, that to me is like terrifying. Oh, it's horrible. Because yeah. you're like, what is you going Who's to dead? And at the sta- yeah. I don't know, are your um, folks still alive? Yeah. No. Mine are too. So anytime you get oh. a call, it's like. Of course. Well, now that I know that, I'm going to call Brady in the middle of the night. More. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't know that the over the, the, the whelmed. Well, you just. Uh, black it's, cloud coming of from, it's coming from home. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, it's they're calling to either check in, but yeah. sometimes but it's weird in the middle things. Of the night, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to hire people from Columbus, Ohio to call <laughs> you. <laughs> and, good so luck. Funny. We change numbers every. Yeah, yeah. Keep that up. I can find you. This is going to be great fun because I'm horrible. Well, well, I think that's so funny to call him in the middle of the night. It's like, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Your parents are fine. <laughs> I just oh, checked on them. I had, a, I had a prank I did when I was a kid. Like, we all had pranks, like uh, telephone pranks we mm-hmm. would do. And then, but mine, I wish, kind of looking back, I wish I hadn't done it. But I would phone uh, people like at random, just strange, just numbers. And I was a little young kid, and I would go like, uh, uh, um, th- yeah, my, uh, um, um, I'm in trouble. Someone's trying to get in, and this is my, my mother gave me this number to phone in case there's in trouble. And there's someone's coming through the door, you know. And they go, "What? No!" They go, "Where? Where do you live? What's your number?" I go, "I don't know. I don't know." My mommy told me to phone you. My mommy told me to phone you. <laughs> Oh, oh, now, oh, yeah, now they'll track it down. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm gonna I that anyway. that sometimes and you're go, thinking that's yeah. hilarious. At the time, yeah. I still, but there was funny. no closure to the prank. Right. Yeah. It's not like I you got left you. them hanging. Yeah, it's just for the rest mine of wasn't lives, as elaborate, so. but I used to call and go. And they'd be like, "Hello, like uh, is this suicide hotline?" No, oh, I can't do anything right. Uh, <laughs> just <laughs> hang up. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, have them hanging for the rest of the day. It's like, that was not. Yeah. That's so fun. I both can't of, do anything right. We That's both great. hurt people's feelings. Yeah, yeah. They, those people <laughs> think they have blood on their hands now. <laughs> yeah, they've lived their The life. fun prank that I like doing was in the winter. We had a sledding hill, and yeah. I used to string piano wire across <laughs> yeah, the trees. Yeah, used to kill people. It's and different. shove the kids down in the snow <laughs> and just watch them slice up like yeah. snicker bars. Oh, you know what another prank? Dad, you know what a prank we would My uncle, he would went on a, on a, on a snowmobile. You know, yeah. That is 
is not that, the uh, official that, term of what, is, what you do when you're trying to yeah. explain snowmobiles. Yeah, 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 snowmobile. You, know, you move your hand really fast. That's how you operate. You operate the snowmobile. Like you know, you make a off. fist over your genitals and you just move it up and down. <laughs> snowmobile, of course. <laughs> I do that. Yeah, he yeah. <laughs> does snowmobile. Anyways, they had uh, the farmers put up like uh, like uh, the fencing, the oh. fencing, but like invisible. You couldn't see it, you know. And my uncle got hurt. But what were you? Gonna I was going to say we we had a thing we were going to do is just pranks just to make people think. Yeah. You know when you go by a, a place where some horrible accident has happened, they've put up like, yeah. if somebody got run over by a bike, they paint a bike white and put it on that corner. Mm-hmm. Brady and oh, I sure. especially, we wanted to paint like sleds in Phoenix. <laughs> like <laughs> random, just, a canoe. Just like white this sleds. This <laughs> inter- <laughs> intersection. <laughs> put candles all around it and <laughs> like a date. <laughs> just, see if people, like, yeah. have, just to make people like, is there drugs? Just entertainment yeah. as you drive. Yeah, you know? a box of Sudafed. <laughs> 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 this is where he drives. <laughs> <laughs> Time release capsules <laughs> all over, painted white. That's a Just great a idea. a bunch of empty boxes. Yeah, that'd be a fantastic... And nobody could touch it. They'd feel bad. It's like a tribute, so you can't clean it up. It's not litter. So it has Just to Paint happen. them white. That's those everything. Those are kind of sad, those, those you know, They're highway awful. side... Yeah, like What's I, the I think timing? the guy would rather just not have a shrine. Yeah, if it's like why not a shrine of, of him? Highway. Build a statue of him, not yes. the bike he was on. Yeah, yeah right. Like the bike Are you going to put one of you know like relative or on the back of the windshield of your car yeah. for a while and drive Most around? People turn their cars into tombstones. And then how now? long do you do that? What? I've never heard. Have you even seen that? Well, you, and here all over they'll have a picture of the lady in memory of and the name of a person, and it's always oh. some horrific date like 1987 to 2013. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, he was oh, young, but now they're Cars, resale value is garbage. Oh, of course. <laughs> That's all I care about. It's like, what's this guy doing? He just lost a couple grand putting that up there. It's not. You're still alive. There's no reason to lose money. Yeah. Then a lot of uh, tattoos are pretty oh, popular, yeah. too. Yeah. The deceased yeah. person oh, put it up there. One will have a... Uh, a date when they're born and then a question mark. Yeah, that's, I guess they're, that's, oh, they're yeah. vanished. They're waiting to fill it in. I guess. <laughs> oh, when they're, they're what? That's so embarrassing. Well, it's like uh, 1986 <laughs> to you know 1987. Yeah, and you're trying to have doggy style yeah. sex. Right, with them. and you got to oh. look at her. You got to look at her kid Sid. On yeah, the back. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just little Sid. Yeah. didn't have time to name right. him. Rest he's in peace sp- in he's heaven, on the my small little. Of the back. <laughs> my little you angel. mean Sid? The kid's name. The kid's. I call him Sid. He was named. After, right, after yes. the sudden yes. infant right. death syndrome. Which I want to I want to die from adult onset sudden infant death syndrome <laughs> called not so sudden infant death syndrome. <laughs> not, not so sudden. <laughs> it's just stupid. You, it you see what you've while. done? Yeah, this, yeah, this yeah, is, this is was, what you uh, do to us. You was, know that you've uh, been responsible. <laughs> I don't know if you heard us talking about it. Uh, there's been probably five or six visits here, but the very first yeah. time we ever had you on was like 15 years ago. I was at another station here in town, and they found a, a headless body on the freeway. The day you got here, last time you were here, wasn't your uh, uncle on the snowmobile? Yeah, yeah, like like ten years ago. I feel uh, I remember that. A dude crossed the road on the freeway and got plastered. That was the day you were here. And then today, some guy going the wrong way on the I ten blows up the I ten. It's not even usable all the way back to L A. Oh, wait a second, this. I probably should have told you guys that I'm I'm the devil. (laughs) Oh man, you could have led with that. Yeah, I've come back. (laughs) And I brought Ebola with me. <laughs> You've got your podcast; it's still going. But I just I, I clicked on it the other day. It says Norm will be back in May. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> well, I do it for a while, Vacation. and I go, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to yeah. do this anymore. And then they're like, He's on hiatus. Yeah, is that what that is, <laughs> or is it just that you, you may or say. may not come back? Yeah, I don't know if I will. Or okay, not. Uh, I just well, do it for a while, and then I it's fun get to watch. Tired of it because oh, it's it fun is. to yeah. do, man. Yeah. It's so great. I think it's just. Uh, the people who do it with Norm are awful. Uh, are awful. <laughs> well, no, Sean is it? Sean does it with me. He's well, there's awesome. one guy. There's always one yeah. guy. It's the rest of the people. The future's good. It's those yeah. awful others. <laughs> <laughs> I did a podcast with Frank Caliendo for about six, oh, seven, wow. so that was about six months, and then we tired of it as well. Even Frank tired Frank, oh, of yeah. it. Well, he Frank seems to tired of nothing. No, it's well. The second you say well, the he F starts word, getting busy he gets nervous because he's on that oh, Disney yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. yeah, you get nervous when you start doing horrible jokes, and we have. Oh, you know, of course, Frank would. Yeah, yeah. Jay Farrell, Ralphie, me, me, and Frank are in a room. It's. Oh, that was the. It was. Well, that was one of them we did. Oh, it was I great. See. Oh, but, yeah. I see. Yeah, Frank would get nervous. Yeah, he got real nervous. You, you, do you enjoy doing the interview stuff with with people on the podcast? Yeah. Well. We got good guests, so that I was interested in. But um, mm-hmm. it's harder. Like you guys, obviously, have to just interview everybody. Not necessarily. Here. What? <laughs> no, we don't. You don't. <laughs> no, you're a special choice. <laughs> we could have said no. I, I'm amazed that people. I don't know how I would do with uh, people that 
you don't care about? Yeah, like I'm yeah. always astonished by, it. especially a guy like David Letterman, who I oh. think would be even less interested than we would be. <laughs> right. You know, or the way he can pretend to be interested, right? Like, and actually, have, yeah. Real. But don't you think he has more, a little more juice or say? I'm saying, hey, no. this guest no, is here, no. but there's every once in a while they have to take it. He yeah. has to take. Oh it, yeah. no, on an average guest, you got to yeah. You, if they're in three, town, three, they're promoting three guests a night. Yeah. There's not that many interesting people. <laughs> and, you know, actors are not interesting at no. all. I mean, I know. Did you start getting pressure from anybody? Because it's your podcast, but you start uh, getting money from the outside coming in. I think it was Jerky Links, yeah. which might have explained the ballooning. <laughs> <laughs> was that right? You had the Jerky Links uh, thing. You had to try to convince to get, me you're a Jerky Links guy. get what? <laughs> Just get what they want, like well, guests from them. Sean, and, like... Uh, Sean and I, we liked like just older guys. A lot of people right. wanted young people, young people. But they're you know, not interesting. Older guys are the most interesting. And I always think in show business, you get the old guys, they don't care what they say anymore. Right. They're out of the business. They'll tell some stories. Yeah, right. the, and they tell stories about guys you care about. Yeah, they'll, na <laughs> they'll name names. They, they don't yeah. care at all. <laughs> they're <laughs> seconds away from dying. Yeah. <laughs> so who's the best one you had on there? Because I've seen some that well, were we had ja this, We had this guy, Jack Carter. And he did the the most craziest thing. Remember? Well, I also still, after meeting him, have no idea who Jack Carter Jack is. Jack Carter was a com comedian yeah, like the they're, Catskills they're guys, way right? Old, way back in like the day. Yeah. So he was talking, and he said, uh, <laughs> he was talking about the war. And he was <laughs> Which like, one? The Second World War. The big I go, one. You were in the Second World War? He goes, Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I go, the war was a lot of fun? <laughs> and he goes, well, I never got to go over. I never had it went over, you know. He goes, I got a lucky break. My whole unit was going to D-Day, and they all died. <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't go because I got deathly sick the day before. And then I go, oh, man, it sounds like you were faking it as a joke. Right. And then he goes, I, I was. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, I never told nobody that. And I was so like, finally confessed. Yes, that, now, that he is right? a deserter and a traitor to our country. <laughs> But you learn that kind of stuff on Norm's podcast. Yeah, Norm's which is great. deathbed confession. <laughs> That'd be a good show. That'd be pretty awesome. You just yeah. show up at uh, hospitals, yeah, and ahead. they think it's to bring them up, but it's really just to get them we, to admit we've some We've had a couple of... Uh, you do admit some stuff, and then you oh, pull man. a plug out of... Man, wall. do I want to follow you around with a camera? Like, hey, I'm here to pull the plug there. You got anything to say? <laughs> so, Rickles. By the way, if I a... ever go... If I'm ever in that situation... Celebrity death. Of pulling a plug... Yeah. First of all, I would want I, I I would want more than one plug. I would want like a backup plug, <laughs> multiple plugs. Yeah, because if a guy, like, comes, in, like the guy comes in with one of those oh. wide brooms, hits yeah. your plug. Oh, I want a generator. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want something to kick this in. This is how I feel. Yeah, like, is it this, that easy? Yeah. This is how I feel. It happens sometimes. Like you're in bed, right, with your eyes closed and stuff, and you're <laughs> sleeping, your coma, whatever they call it. <laughs> but you can hear and sure. stuff. This is my nightmare. And all you hear is your relatives going, I think he wants to go. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, no, but you can't. You like, can't move uh, enough to, uh, yeah. Because nobody's <laughs> ever like, no, we'll keep him on the thing. Yeah, right? no, keep him on forever. Yeah. Everybody yeah. always was real jumpy. Oh, my, uh, my yeah. pool guy pulled the plug on his mom, and she sat up. Took like this huge horrible breath. The whole family <laughs> lost their minds, oh. and then she died. Oh. Like right in front of him, he's like, oh, "It's time we pulled the plug on her. She's not going to make it." Pulls the plug, and like a few seconds later, she goes, "It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a miracle." Oh. Like, what the plug her back in? It, it was but that late. must have been a physical thing. Is that what like they uh, tied? Yeah, around? Reaction. the family didn't say so. Yeah, there was a big fight afterwards. Yeah, hey, that's the. Risk. I read that one out of four people get buried alive. What? 25% yeah. of people? Yeah. Come on. Stop that. Yeah. Where did you read that? Lies? No, because they said that Lies magazine. <laughs> the book Lies. Yeah, the book <laughs> Lies magazine. But, uh, no, so they, the uh, wheel and the guy is like, man, it's starting to get hot in here. Yeah. Whoa, no, whoa, they, whoa. they said that the, 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 the medical equipment used to uh, show if a person's actually expired is not that uh, perfect. <laughs> well, we need to yeah, we need to spruce that but, up a but, bit. Yeah. But if you're being buried, there's like the embalming process, yeah. which will you totally hope. maybe you'll you're pretty much yeah, find I don't out think if it's buried dead. alive. I think they die in the morgue. They wake up inside the. So if they're stiff, maybe put in there. Well, they might be put in 
Uh, on, so like pronounced dead before they're embalmed, they still could wow. because you have a couple that come back and also the guy wakes up on the table yeah. or something. Like have, you, have you ever been in a funeral? And go, boy, that guy looks alive. <laughs> Never. No, the really? coffin gives a dead giveaway. I, <laughs> I completely know <laughs> that automatically. And the take, makeup, it's yeah. the worst makeup. Yeah, it takes the life. I read a story this morning about uh, these two kids. Their mom died, and they. They put a cell phone in her casket. Oh. And then when she was buried, they got text messages back from the phone. No way. I swear. It's a story I read this morning. But I, what I think? Grave robber. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. It's a living person. Oh, and then they're yeah. like, yeah, thanks for letting us have sex with your mom's corpse. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you do that one on cool? <laughs> 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 Norm McDonald is at the, the Tempe Improv this weekend with uh, the with great Sean O'Connor. The future of comedy. The future it should be on. The, it should be on the marquee. Norm's name should be very small yeah. as the comedy. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. you're just introducing him, right? That's Pretty what's well. happening. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. And Norm's going to confess something That's tonight. That's right. It'll be a on stage deathbed confession. Norm McDonald <laughs> on his birthday tonight. You can go see him at the Tempe Improv. Uh, Tempe Improv. Birthday kisses back. for all the ladies. Yeah, oh, why? It's not. It's you don't have to call yeah. him back. He has to call you again. He call, he bothered He'll laugh. Me. Who calls anyone this early? I anyway. feel so terrible. Where is he yelling, living? I'm screaming at him. What time is it where he lives? Uh, he yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. Wait. You have oh, to no, assume. Later. Yeah, later. but you have to assume he knows you're on the West Coast, right? Yeah. So he well, who we calls could, anybody we eight in the call morning? Him. We could call Leslie if you want to. No, we uh, could call him live on air. Yeah. <laughs> you want to call your brother? Uh, uh, no. Straighten us out. <laughs> What's your brother do? Uh, my brother, he uh, I think he works at a donut <laughs> shop. <laughs> You're not this, sure? This call wasn't that important to either of you. <laughs> <laughs> he's a donut shop guy or whatever. Yeah, it was nice of him to call. I'm so, I feel it so was. bad. It now. was nice. But he was the first one in. He's, you know what? Don't feel too bad. He's just kind of clearing his day. He was yeah, getting it over with before true, 9 a.m. Right? It was yeah. just a quick, let's get this done so I don't have to yeah, think about I it. I my brother scream at me. Yeah. <laughs> well, he kept me. Saying, Are you at the point? I on... said, I'm on the radio. He's like, yeah. So anyway, it's what <laughs> Not listen. Are you at the point you when, uh, like, on your siblings, do you send them something for your birthday, or is it just a call, oh, a happy no. birthday? Do people still do that? They give gifts. I mean, I'm, I, I mean, I'm getting my son. <laughs> Only the topper in the family yeah. does. My it. son is, is uh, 21, and I'm, I'm thinking when you do give I him stop some. giving him stuff? That's I a monumental that. one. I think after this, though. What right. is the? No, age? he's 22. No, then he's done. You don't have to worry about. It. Just give him a call at 8 a.m. Yeah, because I was thinking I could save the present until. Do you find this? <laughs> that as uh, the uh, as we march f uh, forward in time, as the world as turns, time marches as time on, marches. <laughs> that there's less and less things you can get people like like because everything's on their phone that they oh, yeah. need. Yeah, they yeah. have it. Oh yeah, you can't buy anything for anybody. Can, they get right? it. They get it when they need it because it's right. Cash is king. Yeah, it's a yeah. crusher. Norm, leave now us. Now you don't have a kids. That? No, God, no. Yeah, that yeah. sounds awful to me. I do. I have a six year old. Yeah, he's yeah. got. Do you have a girl? Girl. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> How's that? You just look because cool uh, he, he said I feminine. have a six-year-old. Because otherwise, you'd have a you say I have a six-year-old boy. Yeah. Really? Because you'd be proud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. No, but don't you worry? Awesome. I mean, I guess through through throughout history, we've all worried about our children. But my God Almighty, it's. Yeah, good luck. Good it's no luck. country for old good men, luck, though. Kid. Huh? Well, it's no country for old men. It's the speech Barry Corbin gives. There, he goes, "What you got? Ain't nothing new here." I don't it's, know. It's all oh, watch that movie. I it's know everybody a, tells me it's I the said, best movie ever. The, he gives he speech? gives a speech. He's like, because his uh, Tommy Lee Jones says something. He said uh, he goes out to his brother's place. Brother, ironically, yeah, yeah. says to him, he says, "I think I got to get out of this." And he goes, "What are you getting out for?" And he goes, "I feel overmatched." And he goes, "What you got? Ain't nothing new here. This has been going on forever." He said, "The world doesn't sit around and wait for you. That's vanity." Wow. Yeah, it's a great speech. And but then the you sit speech back like, oh. I want you to do for me is yeah. a speech from The Godfather, <laughs> where he goes to uh, the guy that has, ends up with the horse's head, and he says, okay. put Johnny Fontaine in this picture, and then the old guy <laughs> starts saying, why Johnny Fontaine will never be in this picture. <laughs> you want me to do that right now? You remember that speech? I remember, but I don't remember it well enough to well, do it. Uh, well, can we it. find the, uh, can we find the text? The Godfather. What? Can we, I've never seen The Godfather. Can we find the text on the computer? <laughs> Probably. Why do you want me Let's to do, do it? it man. <laughs> you want me to act with you. <laughs> are you <laughs> getting it? He's getting it now. Uh, no, why are you teasing this? Uh, yeah. All so right, I'm, we're going to take a break, and we'll do The Godfather. Okay, Classic like morning radio. Yeah, the Godfather moment. And we have to do it as character. Yeah, yeah. I'll be uh, Super Robert Dave Duvall. Osborne. Oh no. Okay, never mind. We'll do yeah, that. I'll be. I'll do it as Super Dave. <laughs> and I'll do it as Super Dave. And you do. I'll be uh, Fuji.
But you remember the guy, right? Oh, I know you're talking he's about. Like, yeah, uh, he's the one pissed off about Johnny yeah, Fontaine ever working. Yeah, 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 I know that one. I just don't remember the speech what a, well enough. Oh, Why are we doing speech. this? Oh, it's, it's so fun. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I'll be is. Super Dave instead of Robert Duvall. <laughs> Can I also be Super Dave though? No, you have to. We can't be commit. combating Super. I have to commit to this yeah, character. You have to All right, we'll do it. Norm's going to react. Up, Sean's done. He doesn't want to. Future's gone. It's ninety-eight. It's over. Ninety-seven point nine. Phoenix. Now it's just getting deep in here. We're well, talking philosophies no and ice ages. ages. <laughs> <laughs> it was cold back then. Oh, Norm McDonald is joining us today with his uh, his manservant, Sean O'Connor, the oh. future of comedy, yeah, baby. Uh, who will soon have plastic surgery to <laughs> be Norm, look like Norm. Man. I knew I should have wore a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the gold lame. It's a radio joke. I really like <laughs> and for whatever reason, I quoted No Country for Old Men, and now you want to you want to do a scene from the God. Yeah, but I think we should set it up. Yeah, you go ahead. This is your thing. You direct. No, I've Sean, never you seen, the seen The Godfather. You've never seen The Godfather. I've seen every American Pie, though. Is this one of those moments where you get in the car and you say, I can't believe I made that guy do that? No, no, listen. <laughs> we got to set this up. Okay. We all remember the, the big scene in The Godfather was the guy wakes up with the horse's head. Satin sheets. Sure. Yes. You should set this up. Is that the offer he can't refuse? Is it yeah, a horse's yeah, head? Yeah. The sheets. Really? Yeah, that's the kind yeah, of the first. It's kind of, yeah, the first one he, yeah. he's trying to. So he, un- up. he unfolds the one. Yeah. But set up thinking. this scene here. Johnny Fontaine <laughs> is a, a lounge singer, sort of loosely based yeah. on Sinatra. Yeah. Who the, God, uh, who the Godfather wants to put, put in this movie. But the movie producer refuses. We don't know why. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. I'm setting it up. That's yes. right. You're doing a great Keep job. Keep doing it. And then, uh, so they send the consulary, uh, Tom Hagen, played by Robert Duvall, uh, to go and visit this guy and, and get try to talk him into... Uh, Getting Johnny in the car. Yeah, so Tom <laughs> Hagen... But Johnny's not by, having any of them. Tom Hagen's played by Robert Duvall, and Jack Wultz plays the producer. But right. in this... Nobody knows who that guy is. In this we're doing... Now I'm... No, I have to do. You're the producer because this is your idea. I want to do it. And you're it. doing it as Super Dave Osborne. As uh, Super Dave, yeah. I'll be doing Tom Hagen as Liam Neeson. Okay, as Liam Neeson. Is that, is that right? Okay. Because right. he's improv. Yeah, because he's a big improv. Ready? Are yeah. you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Mr. Corleone is Johnny Fontaine's grandfather. Now Italians regard that as a very close. Wow, very that's good. <laughs> 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 cut. You can't, you can't say you that. Just, Take two, cut. You already knew how to do it. Well, that wasn't just going to wing one. Oh, okay. You know how to do Super Dave, right? I'm You're not just throwing this out for the I'm first sorry. time. All right, okay, take two. It's not like I said I was going to do Paula Dean and then <laughs> okay. give it a try. <laughs> hey, there's butter in I there. I have to go again? All right, yeah. right, all right, take two. Try not to compliment me so much. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Corleone is Johnny Fontaine's grandfather. Now Italians regard that as a very close, very sacred religious relationship. You tell your boss you can do. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this isn't going as well as I'd hoped. Tell your boss you can ask for anything else, but this is one favor I can't grant him. Mr. Corleone never asks for a second favor. Once he's refused the first, understood? You don't understand. Johnny Fontaine never gets that movie. That part is perfect for him. It'll make him a big star. But I'm going to run him out of the movies and let me tell you why. Johnny Fontaine ruined one of Wolz's International's most valuable protégés. For three years, we had her under contract. Singing lessons. Dancing lessons. Acting lessons. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. I was going to make her a big star. And let me be even more frank. Because I want to show you I'm not a hard-hearted man. But it's not all dollars and cents with me. She was beautiful. She was young and she was innocent. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had. (laughs) And I've had them all over the world. And then Johnny Fontaine comes along with his olive oil voice and his guinea charm. And she runs off. She throws it all away just to make me look ridiculous. And a man in my position cannot afford to be made to look ridiculous. Now you get the hell out of here. And if that goomba tries any rough stuff, you tell him I ain't no band leader. Yeah, that's right. I heard the story. Thank you very much for the dinner and a very pleasant evening. 
Have your car and take me to the airport. Mr. Corleone is a man who insists on hearing bad news at once. All right, excellent. Yeah, and see. That's amazing. Oh, that's great. Impressions are much easier to do in small chunks. That's what we've learned. <laughs> that's, that's why I didn't want to do that. Yeah, damn. You did man, this you scene. A, you tried to give it to me. It's like a five-minute thing. I didn't know he talked so thing. long. You did great, This was Norm. your scene. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, now monologues. You ever do a monologue? Oh, uh -huh. Just can't stand him. High school used to yeah, yeah, read those awful yeah. He did 14 verses of the farter yeah. from Sparta. The far <laughs> <laughs> that was a great. I wrote it myself. He's got to go now. Now, now Brad's got to go. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Norm. That was fun. I don't know why, it's and I'm weird. still I'm going to be thinking about it for a while. But nice job. Listen, man. I just want to say, can I start end on a serious note? You better. Yeah. I think uh, that you know, with the Ray Rice incident, <laughs> sure. With the Adrian Peterson yeah. incident. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is why he's my favorite person. Norm McDonald, all week long. Happy birthday, Norm. Nice work. Oh, it's Sean, my birthday. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's 90.